Ford has a problem. An oversupply of 2023 trucks linger as 2025s approach. There are more than 5,000 new 2023 Ford vehicles for sale right now. That is more than their 2025 inventory on dealer lots right now. This is uh, this is bad, man. This is really, really bad at Ford. You want my suggestion for yeah. them? They should check with the good folks at Stellantis as to how to handle this product problem because <laughs> they've been trying to deal with it for months and months and months now. So perhaps Stellantis could share some insights with them on what to do. Another example of this buyer's market, Dad. Ford has more 2023 new vehicles for sale than 2025s. It's two months. It's less than two months away from 2025. That's yes. that's not ideal. Have they no. tried? Have they tried selling them? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> no, it seems like they've given up on that. No, I mean, yeah. so if you're in the market and you want to Ford, ask the dealer. We we always preach this, right? Like this is why we create cars. Be empowered. Ask for the oldest one on the lot, or don't even ask for the oldest one on the lot. Tell them which one's the oldest one on the lot because you, you have know, the information. I I was actually researching some vehicles this morning. One that yep. I might have might have possibly be interested in and i was looking at the photos and one of the photos was the manufacturer plate so i could see when it was manufactured and it was manufactured in february of 2024 um you know let's just guess that it arrived at the dealership in march it's still sitting there okay yeah. um i would suggest that they should probably be a tad bit more motivated to sell one that they got in march than I don't know, one that they might have received last week. So Hertz apologizes for threatening to have customer who drove 25,000 miles in a rental car arrested. Before we even dig into this, have you heard this story? I, I, no, no. I, oh, I no. am excited. The company charged a customer a $10,000 fee for driving too many miles on a, quote, unlimited Rental. Dad, this is actually, we're not going to watch the video, but this was posted on TikTok. I'll read the article too. Hertz is in a heap of public relations trouble once again. Do you remember when they were most recently in public relations trouble, Pops? They were always in public relations <laughs> trouble. And usually it has to do with uh, having their customers are arrested for driving what was reported to be a stolen rental car that was indeed not stolen. All right. This time, a location manager threatened to have a customer arrested if he didn't pay a $10,000 mileage overage charge for driving 25,000 miles in one month. That's oh a ton of miles God. for a car to rack up in one month, basically doing around 1,000 miles per business day. But here's the kicker. The rental agreement was for unlimited miles. In the TikTok video, you can see the exchange between the Hertz manager and the unnamed customer becoming quite heated. Despite repeated pleas for sanity, the customer is faced with the choice of paying the $10,000 and walking out or continuing to dispute the charge and potentially getting arrested. It isn't clear what laws the customer was breaking that would result in their arrest. But when a so-called customer service professional becomes this belligerent, there's likely no reasoning with them that this entire thing is on video and on TikTok. And obviously, Hertz has come out and said, customer satisfaction is our top priority at Hertz. And we sincerely regret this customer ex customer's experience at one of our franchise locations. Per the terms of our contract, the customer will not be billed for mileage. Our franchisee is addressing the employee's conduct and reinforcing our customer service standards and policies to ensure they are understood and followed consistently. Wow. I, I, I would have said that. I would have said that perhaps there's some fine print that says unlimited mileage is limited too, uh, but apparently in the contract there is no fine print that says unlimited mileage is limited to X amount of miles. Um, yeah, if it's unlimited, damn it, it's unlimited. So I can yeah. appreciate the fact that you. I just I I would just have to question how does someone drive twenty five thousand miles in a month yeah. and. Uh, where did this take place? And was there a specific corridor in the United States that they were driving through? Um, I, it, but that is... Uh, don't read it. Don't read I'm it. Not, I'm just, not gonna read don't it. say it. I'm not going to say it. I might have thunk it, but I'm not going to say it. Um, because that is just an inordinate amount of miles. I, you know, I don't even know when you'd find time to pee or gas the damn thing up. 